performance. I just don't think, unless Michelac has a shocker, that they, they have enough to do it. Rampo, I agree entirely. I think if Michelac has a shocker, they can start well, they can get points on the ball against Wales and really just shut the, the French out. But I think French dominance and set piece, you'd have to fade France. And you can be certain that in these conditions, France, who talked about winning ugly here today, are going to be downright ugly up front and it's going to be a bruising physical battle from the off. And it's the second match of the fourth weekend of RBS Six Nations and Keith Earl shouts loudly and tells O'Mahony to get out of the way, which he does and claims possession for Ireland. And Conor Murray will dig it out and send one for Carney to chase. Ten minutes on the clock. Second opportunity for Ireland from a line out, five metres out from the French line. They couldn't do anything with the ball the first time. How about this time? It's going in the right direction. He slip is nearly there. Murray's on his shoulder. And the referee says try. Try for Ireland. In these conditions, that is a terrific effort. Consider the pressure that's been on that young man all week. I'm sure we've had a clean scrum at all in this game. But it's there for Heaslip and the penalty again. Last opportunity to slot points and he rises to the challenge and France are on the board. 26 and a half minutes gone. Ireland 7, France 3. And again it does with Donica Ryan claiming possession and Ireland going to the mall. It's been the theme of the opening half hour from Ireland's perspective as Sean O'Brien waits at the back and France collapses. Gonna get there. It is. Well done, Paddy Jackson. He took the responsibility. He looked for the responsibility, and he restores Ireland seven-point lead. It's Murray. O'Mahony. Murray again. Key and Healy. Nianga up to cut him off and does so. Murray. Jackson. Oh, Driscoll just. Finds a way around and feeds McFadden. O'Mahony in again with Heaslip to try and secure possession. The referee says that's a penalty. Jackson the opportunity to stretch Ireland's lead to 10 points. It's on its way again and there's a sense from the crowd that it's there and it is. Tara goes on a little arcing run and Kayser is there on his shoulder and Ireland fumble across and make the tackles desperate to not concede anymore. This last effort of the first half and we will get a penalty against Ireland. Michelak then with the opportunity to cut the lead. And Freddie has fluffed his lines in Conor Murray who's played well. And a pack who've given him the best armchair ride he could possibly want against France. At halftime at the Aviva, it's Ireland 13, France 3 to pass. And it's... Jackson who gets us underway and pick all who waits and makes a haze of it and McFadden slams into him again not with an awful lot of it's been a relatively quiet second half so far a lot of the game played between the 222s and now France get the penalty for French support that's here raise their voice as Para steps up to strike and he finds the target France again set the scrum Ireland look to disrupt France on their way. It isn't controlled up come the front rows and the referee gives a penalty to France. Uh, for topping up again, for stepping up in the scrum. Pickamol looks to take it quickly in Ireland. Just about hold them up. The second wave will come and there is the try. Ireland rush out. Michelac bides his time and wouldn't you know it. Up go the flags. Cronin takes it off. Madigan, Healy, Keen Healy gets a bit of forward momentum. France though in to rob the ball and it's a legal turnover. And Bastereau straightens the line and offloads to pick the ball. Was that forward? Referee was right in line and he says no into the Irish 22. The French come. It's Michelac, little kick over the top. Ireland in a foot race. Carney makes sure. It doesn't go France's way, and that is the end of that. And you feel a real improvement, and he will take great heart from that for O'Driscoll. Will we see him here again? Big question mark there. The way he finished the game today just epitomised 
Brian O'Driscoll's approach to everything. And the final score at the Aviva Stadium is Ireland 13, France 13.